This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. All right, so Wallow and Gilly the Kid Inc. a new deal with Barstool Sports. Reportedly worth $100 million, but I'm saying it's probably more like 10 to $20 because you got to think they got to recoup that over four years. Okay, so um, 10 I would say they did 10 to $20 million, which is like life-changing, rich. These guys don't have to worry about money. This is, they don't have to worry about too much stuff, okay? They just got to keep doing their endorsement deals, keep doing great podcasts. Salute to them. They're a great, they're a great duo. And um, I'm glad Gilly found his way in music. It's great. Love it. Drake built the foundation, curved the temptation, dreaded the speculation, all in hopes to hear you say congratulations. But all I heard was complaining. Drake showing off a new do. Kodak Black says if Kanye West wins 2024 election, he's leaving the country. You ain't going nowhere. (laughs) Then we got so I didn't know this. Jeezy uh, was detailing that he had a beef with drama because L.A. the Dark Man, who was managing drama at the time, was in his ear. I like L.A. the Dark Man too, so don't get me wrong. I, I think he's cool, but something happened there between him and drama. And I guess Jeezy said he was in his ear, and like they added some kind of beef. It just spilled into something at a club or something. And I don't know. They had beef for a while. Drama and Jeezy. I thought it was over Gucci Man. Uh, Jeezy putting uh, Gucci Man and Jeezy on the phone because uh, he called Gucci Man in jail and sidelined Jeezy like into trying to make peace. I think that was in 2013. When did they have beef? That's what I want to know. I guess it was a few like years after that. I think that was like the last draw for Jeezy right there. But I'm glad to see them working again because drama brings Jeezy back to being snowman when you think of dj drama you think of jeezy same with you you think of dj drama you think of ti like dj drama is a huge part of atlanta bringing that trap music out of atlanta and it wouldn't be the same without dj dj drama special man yes him jeezy ti that was a special moment Little Baby is gifted 80K, supposedly by uh, Twitch streamer CNAT, but it was fake money. I mean, you could tell. I know what fake money looks like. It was fake money. It was too, it's like too white, too crispy, papery, but it was good for the stream. Little Baby played along, and CNAT's been doing some good streams, man, I got to say. So uh, shout out to him. Howard uh, Stern wages war on Kanye West, compares him to the big, you know, to uh, to Hitler. (laughs) And uh, Howard Stern's lost his marbles in the past five years anyway. So, uh, you know, I I used to be a big Howard Stern fan, listen to all his interviews. He has to have the best interviews. He got too political in the past five years, I would say, and uh actually six years i would say and you know he kind of lost his marbles after that like when people get too political i'm just not into it anymore i'm not into politics like that you know so when you get too political i'm listening to your show to not hear about politics i don't want to hear about politics i hear about that too much i want i want a break you know i just want to like chill i want to hear some entertainment i want to hear some laughs howard stern joe rogan took his spot Talib Kweli checks Kanye West for using Nori, um, Nori's platform to spew hatred. I think Kanye West does need the Talib Kweli check, even though I don't always agree with Talib Kweli. I think Talib Kweli sometimes is annoying. He's right in this situation, um, and Talib Kweli, uh, Kanye needs a Talib Kweli in his life right now, to be honest with you. And that's it. So again, congratulations to Wallow and Gilly. Um, great duo. And very happy for them to get that deal. It's great to see um, people's hard work pay off. It's Jordan Tao with JT News. Peace.